Hey crafty people, it's Tasha here, back with another video tutorial for Pear Blossom Press. Today we're using a halo light to illuminate a focal sentiment in the middle of our card. So I've got a halo combo pack, these absolutely perfect sentiments from Hero Arts, a panel of Heffy Doodle cardstock, several shades of blue and purple Catherine Pooler ink, a stencil from Hero Arts, white pearl hero paste, an ode to Andy Warhol bold print, which is a red rubber stamp, um, waffle flower circles die set, and then I also pulled in crafty critters from Pretty Pink Posh and some wow polished gold embossing powder. To save time on the video, I've already done my ink blending off screen, but I'll drop some links up top for where you can see my tutorial for ink blending a panel just like I did here. So I'm placing my panel into my Misty stamping tool, removing the mouse pad as I'm using a bold prints background stamp. Um, that's a red rubber stamp and it's already got the foam attached. I've positioned the stamp a little ways away from the bottom corner to make it easier to close my Misty. And then I've got my panel positioned underneath it with a little low tack adhesive that's on my Misty. And that's just lightly holding it in place. I'm stamping with Hoodie, which is a medium shade of grey ink from Catherine Pooler. It's a subtle bit of interest in texture, um, and I am in my mixed media layering era currently, so I'm really enjoying making these layered up backgrounds as a change from the more clean and simple style I'd usually go for. I let that dry a little off screen, and now we're going to we're going in with some white pearl hero paste over this sunray style stencil from the premium my monthly hero kit from march i gave my paste a bit of a stir before taking out taking any out to make sure that it's nice and creamy and ready to spread then i'm kind of messily adding it to my stencil um, i've taped that onto my panel from behind I don't need to mask off that centerpiece because I know that I'm going to be die cutting it out but at the same time I don't want to waste any of my paste so I'm just kind of working around that bit without too much worry. Peel to reveal and now I can let that I can set that aside to thoroughly dry. I left it for two to three hours plus and then it was good to go. Whilst that dries I'm going to work on my sentiment. I've chosen some orange yellow kind of cardstock as I realised that I didn't want to have it all blue and I'm positioning it in my Misty with one of these circular sentiments. Either one would be perfect for the design I'm doing today but I went with you make my world brighter. Isn't that just the perfect sentiment to go on a light up card? I stamped it with wow embossing ink and embossed it in polished gold. Now I want this to be the centre of my card inside the halo lights so I'm cutting it with a circle die from the from this layering set by Waffle Flower. I'm going to get my halo out now even though I'm not quite ready for it yet um, because I need to make sure that this circle will fit within the opening of the halo. So this pack is called a combi because you get both the halo lights and some one lights in the same pack. If you've not used any of our lights before, you might wonder what these little tab bits are. They are just stabilizing pieces that get left behind during the manufacturing process. You don't need to keep them attached and they are super easy to remove just by bending and snapping them off. As with all the Pear Blossom Press light up products, it's as easy as slipping the battery in and testing by pressing the button. I carried on with another project as, and now, as if by magic, my background panel is dry. Well, hey. I've cut the center out with the circle with a circle die um, that is the next largest one so it is slightly bigger than my sentiment and that allows all five of the LEDs on the halo to be visible at the same time. 
Now I just need something to bridge that gap and soften the lights a little. So I've cut a piece of pear blossom press vellum with the same circle that I used on the panel and I'm popping up my sentiment on foam squares onto the vellum and that's going to sit nicely over the hole in my background panel but it's still going to allow that light to shine through. To get my halo positioned right, I drew some registration lines through my panel onto another A2 piece of Nina 80 pound that's going to act as my base. I'm adding adhesive tape to the back of my battery pack and then I'm bringing that panel back in to make sure that it's positioned just right before I press it down into place. I've added a layer of the world's best foam tape around my halo and I also did trim about an eighth of an inch off each side of my panel to give me that nice white border all around. Lastly, I'm adding my sentiment into place with another piece of that same foam tape but I only put one piece in the middle so that it doesn't block any of that light from shining through or leave any weird shadows. So my interactive element is all finished. So now it's time to put together the rest of my card. <laughs> I've stamped out all of these images from the Crafty Critters set from Pretty Pink Posh with intensified black ink onto Nina 80 pound so that this cardstock is gonna match the border and the card base that I use. I'm colouring them in pretty roughly to be honest um, and I'm keeping to the colour choices that I already made so blues and oranges slash yellows with just a few pops of pink on their ears and things like that. They might be some kind of out there colour choices, <laughs> I'm looking at you orange mouse but who cares if the colour choices make sense? My critters are going to be crafting up a storm, so it's clear that I'm not looking for realism at this point. <laughs> I'm doing my usual colouring method. I go in with my lightest colour to cover the whole image, then add my shadows with the darkest shade and work gradually up, extending those shadows whilst going through to my lightest shade again. Wherever I need to, I can reinforce those shadows by laying down another layer of my darkest shade. I'm also bridging the gap between two of my shades by picking up a little of the darker ink on my lighter marker. Whilst I finish off this koala, let me know in the comments, do you prefer realistic colours or do you like to mix it up a bit, kind of like this? Um, if you aren't already subscribed, why not hit that button now to join our crafty crew? I'll finish the colouring and die cut everything off camera and then I can see what supplies I want to have with each character. I've purposely left the paint palette and brush blank because I'm going to add gold to them. I want it to look like my little mouse has just painted the sentiment that I have in the centre. Then my koala can have a notepad and crayon. Maybe he's busy making a picture to turn into a card of his own. I'm adding both of my characters on some foam pads to give them a little dimension and I'm positioning them at opposite sides of my sentiment. Miss Mouse's paintbrush is just finishing the last part of that lovely sentiment and actually Mr Koala is taking notes on how to make a fabulous light up card. I think that he's shocked at just how easy it really is. <laughs> then normally I would put a little stamped push where the button is but um, I'm in the process of moving my craft room and I appear to have lost my stamp set but if you are much more organised than me you could use one to add that push. I'm just marking where the button is with the end of my ruler so that I don't lose it and then when I find my stamp set, I can add that later. Now, to add those touches of gold, I messed up a little bit and had a spill. It's completely my fault. I squeezed too hard on the bottle. I tried to scoop it up quickly and just smeared it, made it worse. But let's just pretend that I meant to make Miss Mouse a messy crafter. <laughs> a few gems scattered here and there, because why not? and I did use a black marker to add to his black nose and both of their eyes. 
thank you for spending this time with me today and please do consider subscribing if you aren't already. Don't forget to drop your comments to let me know whether you prefer to use realistic colours or you like to mix it up a bit. Or maybe you do a bit of both depending on your mood. Have a lovely, happy, safe and wonderful week. Stay crafty. Bye.